How soon do you think you could be shipping significant amounts of electricity to China? Five years, four or five years. And how much could you be shipping within five years? Up to, in four or five years, it's uh, up to 15 gigawatt. I mean, fa fa 15 billion kilowatt hour a year. And the infrastructure in terms of grid infrastructure could be... You need, to re re you, you need to reinforce three existing points and build one more grid. A lot of Russian infrastructure is kind of y Europe facing at yeah. the moment. Western facing. Western facing, yeah. exactly. Um, for historical reasons, I mean, how much work needs to be done on roads, railways, ports? A lot of work. A lot of work. Can you give me an idea of what needs to be done? For example, total port capacity at the moment. Uh, and slightly less than 220 million ton. I think it should be 1 billion. <laughs> so that unique opportunity, you know, that Russia could benefit also from Asian growth and it would be adding. And uh, I believe that, uh, you know, in, in terms of GDP of Siberian in the provinces, you know, it's could be, it could be triple in the next 15 years. And is there a risk that Russia is going to miss the opportunity or do you think it, it, this is going to happen? I can't see the, how we can in a, in a miss this opportunity. You know, resources in, um, uh, you know, to develop. We work in Africa, we work in Latin America, in Australia. And I can see you know, how, how difficult to develop resources there, especially government you know, still struggle to identify what their national interests, how to welcome you know, investors you know, and how to actually build infrastructure, how to bring people. You know, to you know to live there, you know we have everything in place. You know people, competence, you know you know technology available, and, and market next door.